Okay, hello and welcome to this video. Uh, recently I came across a blog post and a video which demonstrate how, BitLocker, how the BitLocker encryption could be bypassed by reading out and intercepting the TPM key uh, from the system. Um, basically they built a small hardware tool which they can attach to certain pins on the motherboard and then they were able to read out the BitLocker protection. By default, the BitLocker key is stored in the TPM key and if the system is not changed, Windows will boot as normal and they use that for attacking the BitLocker protection. And the remedy is to use a pre-boot authentication pin and in this video I will demonstrate how to activate the key. Everything I described here in this video is also available here in this blog post. Just click the link in the video description and I also recommend looking at the video which demonstrates how the BitLocker protection can be bypassed. It's really interesting. I will put the link also in the video description. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, as you can see, I have already encrypted my system drive here with BitLocker. You can see the lock symbol here and here I have the options, for example, to suspend the protection, uh, protection turn off BitLocker and all the other stuff. However, I do not have the possibility to enable pre-boot authentication here. In order to do that, I have to edit the group policies of Windows. So I go into the start menu and enter GP edit and then this edit group policy will show up. Just start it. Okay. And then we have to look to the administrative templates here, Windows components and BitLocker drive encryption. And here you find the point operating system drives. Go in there and here we have all the settings here. And um, what we need to change here is require additional authentication at startup. So we double click it here and we need to activate or enable this setting here. And down below here, we have to configure TPM startup pin with require startup pin with TPN. Hit apply, hit OK, and now the pin is enabled. However, uh, now we can enable the pin. However, we can only use numbers as password. If we want to use all characters, we need to activate this option here, allow, enhan allow enhanced pins for startup, hit enabled, OK, and here we go. OK, we now have the possibility to use pin during startup. However, this needs to be configured and of course we need to set the pin. We can only do that via the command line interface. So we enter CMD here, command prompt and important thing is that we run this as administrator. Here we go. And now we add the pin to our system drive by using the following command manage minus BDE minus protectors minus add then the, the character of your system drive. In my case, it's C and TPM and pin. You can read everything up in our blog post. Click the link in the video description there. You can find all the commands. Hit enter. And now we enter, we can enter a pin here. Let's do that. And we have to re-enter it again here. And now we get the message here that the key protectors have been added. We can check the status of the uh, encryption methods by manage BDE minus status. Here we go, well, MDE, BDE. And as you can see here, key protectors now um, has numerical password and TPM and pin. So let's restart the computer. Okay, we are starting the computer. And after a short moment, after the BIOS message, we now should be uh, requested for our BitLocker pin. And here we go. We now have to enter the BitLocker pin here in order to access the system before Windows boots. And basically that's it. That's how you can add additional security to your system. Windows will not boot until you enter your BitLocker pin and these attack methods, these cold boot attacks and also using um, this tool they um, developed where you can grab the data directly from the mainboard from the TPM chip no longer works. Of course, there are a few disadvantages um, since you have to enter the pin during the boot up. Um, you cannot remote desktop to your machine until you have entered manually the BitLocker key. 
And um, if you want to remove the BitLocker pin, I have also wrote some blog posts here. Uh, the link is in the uh, in the blog post, how you can remove the BitLocker pin and also how you can change the BitLocker pin. What I find a little bit disappointing is that this option, um, well, we had to do all these steps in the group policy editor and the command line in order to add this um, security method. And it would be really nice if uh, Microsoft would allow us to configure that in the UI or during the first pro encryption process using BitLocker, where you can decide which method do you want to use. Anyway, that's it. Goodbye.